My name is Masato Shinoue, research fellow at the University of Tokyo and Stanford University. Hi, I'm Haruhiko Bito at the University of Tokyo, and together uh, we will tell you about a breakthrough in calcium indicators. We are going to show you a new breakthrough in genetically encoded calcium indicators called GECKIS. Since calcium ions rapidly rush into neurons when these fire, monitoring calcium lights have been widely used to explore brain information processing at high spatial and temporal resolution. GECKIS such as G-CAMPs are extremely valuable as they can be targeted to specific cell population and to subset location of interest. Furthermore, GECKIS are amenable to stable expression over months. However, several design challenges still remain. We need to increase sensitivity, better response kinetics, enhance signal linearity, and magical availability. Because current GECKIS for in vivo imaging are poor individual spike resolution and poor color availability, Lack of these features present a bottleneck to better understand complex activity dynamics of brain circuit. First, kinetics and linear gekis are able to reconstruct neophoring pattern, and multicolor gekis could offer the possibility of much distinct cell type activity monitoring to investigate relationship between distinct cell types, and simultaneous neuron transmission information flow from pre to post neuron in vivo. Here we developed a suite of multicolor blue, green, yellow, and red, fast and AP reservable gekis for in vivo with unprecedented of spatial and temporal resolution. Let's now dive into the mouse brain, where we expressed X camps in the spatial layer of the cerebral cortex. All X camp indicators level recorded spontaneous calcium spikes for an extensive period of time in vivo. Taking advantage of X camp GF's enhanced sensitivity and fast kinetics, we next examine whether XCAMP-GF might be suitable for recording functional dynamics of fast spiking PV interneurons. We performed electric recording and fast calcium imaging simultaneously in vivo. Using spike timing estimation algorithm, here we found that estimated spike frequency from XCAMP-GF imaging were matched with actual spike frequency data from cell attached recording. XCAMP Y is suitable for dual color imaging of tiny structures such as SNAPs in combination with red Geki using wavelengths much single to photo imaging. To demonstrate proof of concept experiment on dual color PR recording of information processing across SNAPs in vivo, we expressed XCAMP R and XCAMP Y in cortical population of excited pyramidal neurons and SSD positive interneurons respectively. Post-synaptic calcium events were significantly suppressed in dendritic segment with adjacent axon crossover, but in neighboring dendritic segment without adjacent axons. Dendritic events were also temporarily suppressed one second before and after axon activation. We next demonstrated much plex imaging with three distinct cell ensembles in free moving mice using fiber photometry, which enabled fast recording of cell type specific population activities through single fiber optic implant. We label PB, SSD positive interneuron, and excited pyramid neuron in the medial prefrontal cortex with XCAMP R, XCAMP GF, and XCAMP B, respectively, and perform object exploration tasks. Task related spikes were recorded in all three targeted populations during investigation. We also confirmed spectral cross talks were negligible in triple car imaging. Fluorescent imaging with longer wavelengths has advantage of further minimizing of both the scattering of excitation light and the absorption of emission when compared with green probes. We therefore tested whether use of XCAMP R would permit deeper imaging in vivo. We were able to record spontaneous activity in somatic and fine basal dendrite of hippocampal C on pyramid neuron up to 1.1 meter depth from the brain surface in mice. So, in summary, we have here presented new and exciting avenues for recording complex brain circuit dynamics using XCAMPs. The massively improved time constants of XCAMP GF is particularly suitable for decoding spike timing and for closed loop optogenetic activation inhibition control. The ultimate challenge will be to apply multicolor fluorescence imaging to reveal emerging rules across distinct, seemingly orthogonal cell ensembles in the future. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.